Kebaru. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Haru Nefer. This is Kasant Ma Kebaru with another video for you. And in this video, I want to talk about how to end racism. But before I do that, I'd like you to hit the like button. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button to get notifications on when I go live or when I upload recorded videos. Lastly, please share this video with family and friends so we can get this revolution started. So how do we end racism? Several years ago, I did a video on this very same subject matter where I actually pointed to the origin of racism. However, now I see that we still are not attacking the problem head on. We're like dogs chasing our tails. And I see a lot of this from the new generation, the millennials. But I don't blame them because the baby boomers didn't lay the proper foundation for which they could pick up the mantle and carry on. I want you to understand something. No amount of external pressure in the form of legislation, political activism, economic development is going to solve the problem of racism. It's merely a band-aid on an open wound and the wound needs stitches. We need to attack this problem head on, but in order to do so, we need to understand the problem and we don't adequately understand it. See, racism is a construct. Race does not exist. And that we can blame it on black people, we can blame it on white people, but you have to understand one thing, that those who are the architects behind this are hidden. You see, we look to the left, we look to the right, but we never look up at who's pulling the strings. They're true puppet masters, and they are the cabal, the ruling elite. There are few in number, but they remain hidden. They are the phantom menace. And I want you to think about this. You see, the planet is imprisoned. It is under mind control. We have been sold snake oil, meaning we have been told that left brain thinking is the epitome of intelligence. It's the height of intelligence. We've all bought into that. See, the left hemisphere of the brain innately looks to separate, label, and define. It does not know how to solve moral issues. That's not what it's for. For that, you need the right hemisphere of the brain. And unfortunately, right now, the entire planet has bought into this way of thinking, which is the left brain thinking only. And as you'll see in the pharmaceutical industry, when they come out with a new drug, it has all these side effects, one of which is death. That is how the left brain is. It doesn't really know how to solve issues, especially moral issues. You know, it was uh, Judah Chris Mahati who said, it is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. And we are truly a sick society. We are under mind control. The only way that we're going to end racism is through integrated brain thinking, bringing back holistic brain thinking. And we can look at case studies to prove our point. Just going back to antiquity, our ancestors built very advanced civilizations, both technologically and morally. And when we study their civilizations, we'll see that it didn't suffer from racism or sexism. There were no pedophiles. There were no serial killers. So where is this coming from? This is coming from the left brain thinking. We've got to do away with that. Now, is the left brain wrong? Is it malfunctioning? Absolutely not. It's doing what it's supposed to do. However, it's encroaching upon the territory of the right brain. Now, I want you to take a look at this photograph here because I picked this specifically for this discussion. You have two white women holding up signs talking about racism. This is a technique of the ruling elite, the cabal. You see, when we try to attack racism using external means or pressure, they turn around and change things on us. David, I call this the totalitarian tiptoe. 
where it's problem, reaction, solution. They create the problem, we react, and they come with a solution that aligns with their agenda that takes us where they wanted us to go. We are fighting the mythological hydra. You cut one head off, it grows another head. We are using the left brain to fight a left brain problem, and that's not going to work. We have to indoctrinate the planet into whole brain thinking, holistic thinking. That is the only way we're going to get rid of ideologies such as racism, sexism, political partisanship. It is the only solution. If not, the course that we're on, we're going to see the left brain create new titles, new affiliations. You see, the Civil Rights Act was meant to level the playing field. It was meant for African Americans. Now the, the biggest benefiters of the Civil Rights Act is white women. And when African Americans protested, now the ruling elite, hidden, has moved on to the next phase of their plan where they have shifted the playing field. They have moved the pieces on the chessboard to where the LGBTQ community now are benefiting from the Civil Rights Act. And they're pushing African Americans out to where they'll be on the peripheral. They'll be more marginalized and won't receive benefits. This is why movements have cropped up like Eidos, Americans' descendants of slaves, and their agenda is reparations, which I am all for. But again, no amount of economic development, political affiliation, or laws will solve the problem of racism. It is an ideology that must be dealt with with the right hemisphere of the brain. So I want you to think about that, ponder that. Because we're all playing into this game. We think that going to these prestigious universities and learning based on left brain thinking where it just regurgitates information. See, learning is a right brain trait. But because we're so backwards of a society, we're using the left brain to learn. Meaning, we have a professor who will stand up and talk you to death for an hour and a half. We think through oratory skills and the dissemination of information in that manner, you learn. That is not learning. That is not an institution of higher learning. That is parroting information. See, the left brain is not innovative. It doesn't know how to invent. It doesn't know how to create. It needs a paradigm, a reference point. It is the right brain that is the seat of innovation, that intuits wisdom and knowledge, that can solve the issue of racism and sexism. Think about that. This is Kasank Maha Keparu, son of Ma'at and Tehuti. My aunt is a beautiful goddess, Hedaru. Until my next video, I'm in Ra.